Well, Gaffer job done in terms of going through to the third round. In truth, the amount of chances he created and, and squad today, you could be looking at a six or seven win today. Yes, I'm delighted to be in the third round. You know, it's it's great that we tomorrow night see who we get in that, and so let's put that to bed for a while until obviously I think fourth of January. So I'm delighted. First and foremost, that was the first thing we said to the sure players: get into the next round. Another clean sheet, another home win. So they're all the positives. Yeah, listen, the chances we had and some, well, you can almost say comical misses, uh, made it a lot more difficult. But the level of performance was, was again, for me, nowhere near good enough, it's in particular in possession. Our passing was way off. And, and I have to give credit to Dover because they, they made it a right game just through our sloppiness. If it was a com thing about complacency, I'm not having it. Uh, all of a sudden, you know, because we go one nil up, we can't get complacent. We have to do the basics of the game right, and we didn't do them well enough today. And I'm quite angry about the fact that we made it so difficult. Uh, and that's no disrespect to the opposition, but we just were really, really poor in possession. Obviously, the first goal is a is a wonderful strike, Great and goal. Uh, the goal of the season comps are going to be yeah. one heck of a, a, a an award to do at the end. But such sublime technique to, to obviously mm. take it on in the first place but he sort of did it as if nothing nothing ever mattered it was so so sweetly struck well as soon as he picked the ball up he knew he made his mind up Ive, that he was going to hit it and to be fair the technique of it was superb and, and he's hit it and you know it's going to get a bit of dip but when it hit the net I think everyone was like wow what a goal it was a great goal and a great start again to the game it was similar to Stevenage and then a similar performance after it bitty not looking a confident team uh, for whatever reason not having enough awareness about us, not getting our first pass off, just the basics of the game. And for whatever reason, and believe you me, the amount of stuff we do in training and passing and all, but we can't be training our own players. We need to take our performances on training into the into the performances on the pitch. Um, and we got away with it today. You know, we didn't, they had one or two things, and that, you're right, we had so many chances. And if you get the second goal earlier, it probably could have been five or six, but that would have been really unfair on, on Dover because it, it was it, I didn't deserve to be a 3 nil never mind anything more second goal obviously coming from a set piece and Frankie did pretty much what he did in the, the first goal he scored for the club yeah he just got in front of someone and took it and just nicked it in um, third goal was a nice goal Sahar made a good run don't know if it was offside or not but it doesn't matter you know they, they've given it and Moe's finished it off but you know it was what could have been I felt when we went to 1-0 uh, quite an enjoyable afternoon it didn't turn out that way and it became quite frustrating and you know um, we have to be given a better level of performance we have got a responsibility to the fans that came today to have a better level of performance but in saying that I know the problems I know the areas that we need to improve on and sometimes that's half the battle so we just got to keep working on it and if it's players perhaps being a little bit nervy for whatever reason at home I don't know why with the record we've got at home I'm not sure I need to look into it it's, you know the there's more than just the 3-0. I need to look into this performance deeper than that. But positives are, it's another home win. Our home form's outstanding. We're in round three, which we worked to do at the start of the season. Got another big game on Wednesday. We hope to qualify in that one and go into the next round. And then we can put the Cups to bed for a bit. And then obviously we've got to crack on with some real tough games in the league. Yeah, Sir had scored twice, I think, in the reserves in the week. Yes. Is that his reward today? Yes, I mean, Sir Hatt, I've let him, I'm letting him just have time you know it's his first season and there's no pressure on the boy as such um, he's not had a lot of game time probably because the position he plays in Marcus does um, but he's a very very talented boy he looked fresh in training he looked good in the game he scored a couple I wanted to just dip Burroughs back out I think I made a mistake there if I'm going to be honest I probably should have had him on the bench because he would have probably come on with that left side and that left foot but listen hindsight's a great thing and all that but yeah, so had come on and made a goal. He should have scored one, really. He should have taken the touch and finished it. He rushed it. But that sort of summed the game up a little bit, that bit. Yeah, Dembele not in the 18, is that no. purely just because of numbers? No, 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 he's got a bit of a tendonitis on his knee, and he's had it for a while. So I felt, you know, he came off the game on Wednesday and did, did well in the game, scored a great goal. But it was in quite a bit of pain. So we've sort of made the decision that we wanted to rest, and he's going to see someone tomorrow. But it's nothing serious. Um, it's just a case of seeing if the rest has helped him and it seemed to have done he seemed to feel better yesterday uh, and then tomorrow we'll see there's a possibility he might just get a little injection in it which would probably rule him out on Wednesday well it would rule him out on Wednesday or he feels 
the rest has done him good and he'll be back training on Tuesday uh, and be available for Wednesday. Good news on Josh Knight, he doesn't need an operation, which he thought he would, so that was very pleasing. It's probably knock a month off the time he's going to be out. He's still going to be out for a considerable amount of time, but uh, probably a month off if it would have been an operation. And typically, you had two left back, two players in play at the left back position started yeah. the game. You take one off, and then the other one, unfortunately, uh, suffered an injury. What's the yeah, it's, I mean, free, well, I don't, it's quite a bad one. I think I, I'll have to check. I'll go and check now. He's, he's, it looks like his ankle's twisted. You always worry when someone's down for that length of time. And to be fair, Matty, the physio said he's got to come off straight away. So we'll have to look at that in the morning. Um, yeah, I just want to have a look at Fraser in there because he did ever so well in, in the league game against Burton. And he did well. He did all right in the game against in, in, in Wednesday. We had a look at him for 45 minutes. But he, he clearly, the level of performance by many players in terms of in particular possession um, was nowhere near today. And just finally, obviously, a draw tomorrow. In normal circumstances, you want a, a big Premier League side away from home. I guess with the home record, you take anyone here, wouldn't you? Yeah, you want one or two things, I feel, as a League One club. You either want a, a big premiership team away from home, which is a great day out for the fans, the club in general, or you want a real winnable game at home, so you obviously have get through that and you get more chance of getting that first thing I've talked about. So, But the main thing is we're in round three, so we've, we're in the draw tomorrow night, and you just hope you get a bit of luck in the draw. I have to say my record at this club in terms of what we get in draws is, is appalling, but I've got a feeling we might get a good one tomorrow.